If you haven't seen the last video I made on Tay and Lou, watch that first, then come to this one. I'm assuming all of you are back to watch Lou's response to Tay's update about getting an attorney. I'm not even going to hold you back anymore because this video is long. Let's just get straight to it. Y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. At around 3 o'clock, I received an email from someone who claims to be Taylene's legal representation. I'm going to more than likely put... Hold on, let me pause this. Let me... Hold on. My computer's right here, so... I just had to read that real quick. This sounds like a professional written letter. Um, looks like from an attorney. Looks legit. This is about defamation and harassment. The email somewhere on the screen. Y'all can pause it and watch on and read email, it. On this email, there were about three demands that were given to me. The first demand was that I cease and desist from referencing Tay in any future or current social media post. The second is that I remove all posts that reference her currently, that I admit in writing that I have no claims to any proceeds from our Tandle channel. Given how hastily she took down our YouTube channel, I'm not surprised by this at all. Oh, she did take it down? Okay. I 110% do believe she is doing this because she wants to stop me from speaking about my experience with her. Oh this my God, this girl channel. is psycho. <laughs> This girl is psycho. Lou is psycho. She does not stop. Listen, I do believe that in this case, she is causing defamation of character. I do believe if Tay wanted to, she could sue the fuck out of her. Will she win? I don't know. The law is very tricky with when it comes to proof and evidence. But this girl is annoying. <laughs> I believe I received this email because she thinks that this will intimidate me to silence myself. And I will no longer be silent when it comes to Taylene Page, a.k.a. Brooklyn Breed. The Girl, I am all for freedom of speech. Y'all already know this. I am bliss uncensored. But your situation is different. You're doing too much. Why are you coming back a year and a half later and picking on this girl? Correspondence is not going to silence me. I'm going to share what I've been through. You've told your story many I'm times. Share every incident. You've heard, every we've heard it. And I will not let her further continue to try to intimidate me and silence me. What else you want to talk about? Here. I am not violating any type of law by speaking about specific and true events that happened to me during the duration of my relationship with Tay. It is not illegal for me to also defend myself from her defamation of my character and of my life. Oh my God. The correspondent <laughs> states and alleges that I have been harassing her this is completely false. I have not spoken to Taylene in about a year. I have not tried to contact Taylene in about a year. Tay claiming that she's threatened or feels afraid to contact me or that we have any type of mutual friends that we could have contacted is completely false. We have none of that. Out of response for my video that I posted. But if you had a package delivered accidentally to her address, you know where she lives. So you could have found a way to get your package. If it's not you personally, you could have asked someone to go on over and ask her if she had received the package. So girl, you could have found a way. You have her physical address. <clears throat> Telling her to remove our YouTube channel, rightfully so. She then got into the internet yet again and put herself in the position of a victim. True. She manipulates and she cries True. in order to garner sympathy because nothing Correct. that she's saying is the truth. She got on there and said that I threatened her, which I have not done. And she got on you there. You did and threaten said her, bitch. <laughs> you is a liar. <laughs> you said she's got 48 hours or else she's going to be exposed. That's a threat, girl. Afraid to contact uh, me. This is terrible. This is a woman who was not afraid of me. Physically. Oh my God, to all my straight subscribers, my straight viewers, I promise you our community is not that crazy. I mean, we have some crazies in every group, but apparently everyone that lives in the YouTube streets are looking crazy in our community. And not all of us lesbians are that way, I promise you. So don't be scared. Emotionally, the videos that you guys have seen of me being irate, me being angry, me phys being physical with Tay are all reactionary videos. 
you guys have noticed. Reactionary of her initial physical contact. I don't know. We have no proof or evidence that she physically attacked you. We do. We have seen videos and pictures of her. Bruises and cuts on when you wilding out. Okay, we've seen that. So I do believe that she, in my opinion, that she has been physically attacked by you. Now, she does poke the bear. She does manipulate the situation, victimizes herself, and tries to get you angry more and more until you do something to make you look psycho. I mean, what you really are, but she gets you at your most vulnerable state when you're intoxicated because you're not thinking clearly and she knows how to manipulate the situation, which makes you look bad. So yeah, both of y'all are a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. In a video of Tay Lane intoxicated because I was not grabbing my phone to record her. Didn't have a phone to grab because she took it. Mm -hmm. She may have ample amount of videos like that. However, I have a video that I'm about to show you guys. Oh, hell no. And I will explain what you hear. And even so I'm confused. You gave her 48 hours. She deleted the channel. Got an attorney to, tell, to make you stop talking about her after that. And you're still going to expose her? Girl, you see what I'm talking about? They're both ridiculous. But this one right here, a year and a half later, let it go, girl. If you may not amount to much, to those who have enough brain to dissect what it is and to actually open your eyes this woman to me was my abuser yeah both abused each other and there's no other way of putting it time and time emotionally again, mentally verbally physically popped on this internet and spoken about me in my experience she was a master of manipulating me mm -hmm. a master of abusing me mentally financially and physically and because I did not have the tools to record her. And because she ran to the internet with this first, because I am not the first one to come to the internet with this horrible, with this horrible stuff. Because she showed you guys that stuff first, there is now a story on the internet of me being an alcoholic abuser. And I want to go ahead and- Well, you this. did let us know that you were abusing alcohol. You did turn to alcohol because of the depression the loneliness. So we knew, and, and watching the video, you couldn't control it. So we knew you had a problem. I'm not saying you're an alcoholic. I'm not saying you had that disorder, but you definitely abused it. Yo, yet again, it may not amount to much to some of you, but this is one peak. Oh my God. Because I was a able to salvage this one video after asking family members, this, this, that, that, you guys, because I was secretly emailing my family members random videos because she would take my phone. And if she goes through it and she sees a video, of her acting crazy, she would delete it. So, I just so happened to have a few videos. Oh my God. And this one right here. You're really gonna show. I want you guys to just take a moment and listen. Listen, I I am not in agreement with her coming out with all this stuff now. It's it's why, what is what are you bitter about, girl? And you here, talking like you're composed, you're just trying to look like the good guy. You're not. But the reason why I'm watching this is because I'm a reaction channel. And I'm here for the drama, especially the YouTube drama. This is why I'm doing this. But I wish you didn't do this because all the stuff that you're doing at this point, maybe Tay does have a case. And we can speak about it. At the end of the day, you are stalking me. Put, put that on me. You're stalking me at this point. At this point, bro. Bro, you can hear me now. So get her out. Get her out. Get out, bro. You're not allowed to be me anymore. It's okay. First of all, Janessa, can I say something? Yes. First of all, I'm not allowed to be with her anymore. Shaking my head. We were good at just an hour ago. Did you just hear Lou? She was just started talking. She's trying to talk in a calm voice. This is what these people, these manipulators do. When the other, they're both abusers, by the way. But when the other person is at their worst state, they take out the camera and then they, uh, uh. All of a sudden, they're a mouse and timid. Oh, but you know what? But we were fine just an hour ago. You get what I'm saying to manipulate the situation. There's no way that in one room, one person is going crazy and the other person is that calm. Something happened before it got to that point. Ugh, this is so ugly. Did I text you out of my life? Huh? 
No, you never texted me. Okay, no problem. But she punched me in my face, sitting right here. But because I didn't catch it on video, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Taylene, you sit up here. You're drunk. Just calm down. Calm, Taylene. It doesn't matter. Okay, right now doesn't matter because we're both. I can tell you guys are okay. So what about you? Need your space? Let you go. Why you just? I can't stay in the room. Why you tell me to go? Where I have no money. I said she told me to go, but go where? I have no money. Uh, whenever we did anything, I was always at risk of being stranded. <laughs> and the risk was real because I've slept outside at least three times in my relationship with her. We, she would do this every time we argued big or small. That's what abusers do. They know you're alone and you have no people around because I believe they moved to a different state. I don't know where. Or, or they know they don't want anybody else involved. They're, they're control freaks. And when they know that their partner has nobody, they get into these type of situations. Oh, bro. Colleen, you need to go ahead and drink some water. Drink some damn water. Because I have every video on here. I have every video on here. The Girl. video that you guys just Girl, saw stop. was on a weekend in Brooklyn in a hotel. We did what we usually do. We checked in. We went to the bar. We had some drinks. Had a good time at the pool. Had drinks. That's at the, the problem pool. already. Them drinks. We were equally inebriated, equally inebriated. And in that video, what you see is her being so irate and delusional and manipulative. At one point, you heard her say, "She's a stalker. She's a stalker." She was saying that to that her. That wasn't her cousin present. Someone who knew the truth. Just imagine. And usually it wasn't. 99% of the time, it was the police. She would call on me and always after having started or provoked a situation. Provoked. That's the word I've been wanting to use. I just couldn't find the damn word. Definitely. She definitely provoked a lot of the situations. It's easy to do that when the other person is intoxicated. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If you're intoxicated and you can't control your alcohol, don't fucking drink. Relationship with her. We checked into the hotel together. How was I stalk her? She would get so intoxicated, so belligerent, I would be a stalker. I then was a thief. Out of nowhere, she would pull these crazy accusations out. And for the first time, because she was so inebriated and I actually hid my phone well enough that time, I had my phone long enough because I did not have it all night. Girl, she did shut your ass it. up. I had it long <laughs> enough to record her and to send that video to my best friend. In the video, like I told you guys, I was, I'm sorry. All I'm those shaking. years you guys were together and this is the only time you were able to take out the phone? Girl, bye. Go somewhere else with that. And did you hear what she just said? Oh, I'm shaking. Girl, stop it. Listen, when it comes to domestic violence, people do have PTSD. She could very much have it, but for her to verbalize, oh, I'm shaking. <sighs> She's victimizing herself too, girl. Stop. In the video, as I said, we were equally inebriated. We had a great time. But her cousin came into the room because Taylene was yelling. And as you, as you continue to watch this video, she has her, her eyebrows up like this to try to manipulate you guys to look at her as a victim like this. Like a child asking for something or... Or, you know, like, or, or even dogs, you know, when dogs, they want something, they're like, those, the, the eyes, the eyebrows, everything. Don't fall for that. Right before her cousin came into the room, Taylene had just hit me square in my mouth. That could have happened. I also would like for you guys to note my calmness in the video. Like I said, we both were equally inebriated, but I want you guys to compare the videos y'all have seen of me, I was past my breaking point. I've already the been fighting of abuse at that she point. Posted. I already was in a reactionary state when you guys saw me doing the things that I did. That's the way the fights start. That's Means referencing the video, whatever. It doesn't matter how it started. It doesn't matter how many times this person tries to provoke you or poke at you and try to get something out of you. You just don't do it. If you're not an abuser, you won't hit the person. But because that is your reaction every time, you are an abuser. Let me speak. Me trying to rationale with this woman every time walk it starts Walk away. Like when she does that, walk away and leave. Take a breather. Separate from each other. It should never go to blows. Something physical happens. Either she will take my phone, pull off my wig, 
and then there's nothing anyone can tell me to say I can't defend myself. Next, I'd like to speak Go. about pretty much the history and the background of I'm all for defending yourself when your partner hits you. But when it's happening more than one time and you're staying in the relationship, it's no longer defense. Y'all are fighting. In our relationship. The nature of our relationship was drinking. When we were happy, we drank. When we went out, we drank. When we were just in the house, we drank. If we weren't doing nothing, we drank. Alcohol is the problem, the like I said. key point about all of this drinking that transpired in our relationship with each other all substances that were brought into my life while I was with Tay, into that house when I was What's with What's from Tay, her, right? All was brought and given to me. Oh, how sad. Oh, how sad. All this alcohol that was provided to you. Aren't you an adult? Aren't you a grown ass woman? Did she tie you down and pour this alcohol in your mouth? Oh, poor Lou. I had a drink and became whatever it is she's told y'all that I was. She gave me that drink repetitively. Girl. Drink after drink after drink. The next day we'll do it. The next day we do it. We drank pretty much every day. That's what we did. And if her truth is her truth or any truth, I find it really hard to believe and I think that you guys would find it hard to believe that if you were being abused by someone and you were so fearful, so afraid to reach out to me, so afraid of me, you will not repetitively give me the environment and give me to the, the liquor to indulge. You created these environments. You bought every bottle. I had no money to buy anything. So then how does she use you financially? Explain that, please. There's no way that if this woman was fearful of me because of my alcohol consumption, that she would supply me alcohol every day. Well, the relationship is toxic. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but this is a lot that I'm reading through. She kept providing because you guys are in a toxic relationship. Both of you are toxic. You both indulged in alcohol. This is the common thing that brought you guys together. And it's the common thing that put you guys apart. <sighs> Later on, you guys saw it in the streams. She literally will physically hand me my drink. Every substance, Girl, every form of alcohol you are grown. Came into, house, came into the house through tailing. Now, There's the light. I, I was wondering where the light was. What, 25? When I met her, as far as my relationship with alcohol is concerned, she was completely privy to. When I met her, I was an atmosphere model currently. Um, keyword currently was also assigned, published, and booked high fashion model. Before I met her, she told y'all I was a scammer, broke, jobless, and homeless. All lies. I didn't and still don't have to lead with my accolades to have people like me. It's just time y'all are made aware that I was definitely making it on my own. She was, I think she was an America's Next Top Model, I believe, wasn't she? I could be wrong which show it was, but it was a show. That's sad, isn't it? When you've accomplished so much and then your toxic relationship and your alcohol abuse, addiction, ruins it all for you. That's sad. It's unfortunate, but it happens to the best of us. I'm not, saying she, I'm not saying she's an alcohol addict, but alcohol abuse can be just as bad. Next on Dress to Kill. I have to incorporate this pair of pattern types. So Colors Dress to Kill the was the show. And the silhouette. I used to get paid to go to clubs to drink. Well, the appearance of drinking, drink, whatever it is that you prefer to do. And that's what I used to get paid to do. So alcohol has always been in my life. Even before then, oh. I still like to drink even before that really? job. My drinking has affected me as far as what I want. Really? So you're finally admitting to the fact that you are a drinker. It wasn't just Tay forcing you to drink. For myself. My drinking has never put Tay in harm. As soon as I drink, I do not flip a switch and become an abusive person. And this is everything she tried to, I guess, convince you guys that I was, which is the furthest thing from the truth. And the reason why we know that's the furthest thing from the truth is because she continuously drank with me. I understand why so many people have put themselves in a position, not against me, but thinking that I'm a bad person 
thinking that I'm an abuser and alcoholic. I did not know, because I'm learning. I did not know how to respond to something and not make myself look like a victim, even though I am. That's not a title that I've ever been comfortable with holding. So when all of this happened to me, and you guys, this is not happening to Tay, this happened to me. When she got onto the internet and she defamed my character, I, I handled it as the only way Lou knew how. I stepped away, I defended myself, which is the videos that y'all saw, and I left- Might I add, leaving out pertinent details and discussing little nothing to nothing. Little to nothing about the abuse I actually- it alone. Girl, At what? that point, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there wasn't no leave it alone so I can go heal. I was already healed. We had three months of no contact. And when I say healed, you guys, this was a, a five-year relationship. I was at a good space is what I mean to y'all. There was no sadness about the situation. I still felt a under all current of unfairness because you get into the internet and say I'm an abuse of this and I'm an abuse of that and all of these things, which you and I both know aren't true. After having gone through that and handled it maturely, because none of this had to be on the internet, especially seeing as though it's a lie. If this was Tay's truth, I would stand by it and I would take accountability and I would let her get her due. However, none of that is correct and none of that is true. I was uncomfortable. I'm no longer uncomfortable. I was completely uncomfortable, even though I was wronged and victimized and abused throughout this entire relationship. Oh my God. I was uncomfortable with showing you guys that that's where I was. I was uncomfortable with showing you guys that I am a victim. Not was, I am still currently a victim. That's what's so important to these two. They want to prove, this is all just proof and evidence of them being victims. This is all they care about. They want everyone to know that they were victims. Both sides, this is ridiculous. Of Taylene. She's currently still trying to silence me. The dumbest she's, thing ever. She's currently still trying to control me and manipulate me. There's no reason why she can get onto this internet and say, why does my healing has to start with her hurt? when she showed the way. And I'm not even trying to hurt this woman. I have not gotten onto this internet and asked for any money. The video that I did, I requested no money. I don't want my cut and what's due to me, even though I'm duped so much. <laughs> I don't want that. I wanted my art, my likeness, off of the internet controlled by Tay. She's controlled so much of my life for so many years and I'm done with it. I'm done. The reason why I feel like my words should resonate quite heavily with you guys because I've shown you guys consecutive, consecutively who I am. I came to Tay Lean with family, connections, and community. I left with her, left from her with nothing. No family, no community, mm -hmm. because this is the life that she has. And that's what I did notice after the breakup when they were showing, when they were exposing each other. Tay does have control issues. That's a fact. Because she was in charge financially of a lot of things, she had the control to isolate Lou. Um, so I'm pretty sure that was a factor of the alcohol abuse. She felt alone a lot, and that's the only way she compressed. That's the only way she dealt with her emotions. She want, wanted me to have no family. She wanted me to have no community. I have fostered such meaningful relationships over these last years that you guys have seen me, and I still continue to do so meaningful long-lasting relationships and as this continues to go on you guys will see that that is not present on the other side of this oh, i may it. not be a lot of things i know i have my vices things that i'm currently working on but one thing i've always been on the internet and off of the internet is accountable i've gotten onto this internet and told you guys my truth from the moment this has happened I have not been honest with you guys over the life of Tay and Lou because yet again, who wants to come in here and say, hey, I'm being abused. You guys loved that channel. You guys loved that brand and I felt an obligation to uphold those lies. And to you, I do apologize. Accountability has never been an issue for me. Lie after lie about me has been told to you guys. And for quite, quite a while now, I think it's been about nine months that you guys have had to sit with these lies. But within those nine months, you guys, I have been thinking, and I can't call it brewing, but I realized I had to say something because it is not just me who have experienced such horrific behavior from this person. <laughs> I've witnessed multiple of people 
go through similar things that she put me through. I don't think anyone has ever dealt with the level of abuse that I dealt from with her, but I've witnessed her manipulate and lie and hurt people here on TikTok, here on YouTube, and in her personal life, even down to her own family members and best friends. I am accountable for lying to you guys over all of those years and putting up a facade as if what wasn't going on in the back was completely toxic and unacceptable. I hold myself accountable <laughs> by knowing in my head that alcohol in our relationship would eventually lead to us because it made us happy. Um, it made us, you know, motivated to do videos and everything like that. So I will always lie to myself and say, this time, this won't happen. And every time it did. So I take accountability for knowing the effects of alcohol and how I continue to use alcohol in the relationship with Tay. I'm 110% accountable for every scratch <laughs> or any bodily ailment she may have incurred while I had to defend myself against her. I'm 110% <laughs> This bitch. <laughs> Hold on. The reason why I'm giggling to myself while she's holding accountability is because she feels that when she says, I am accountable for blah, 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 I am accountable for blah, blah, blah. That once she says that, that means you guys should believe everything she says because she holds herself accountable for some of those things. Nah, bitch, you're still toxic. You can't even hold yourself accountable for your part of the abuse. You said, I hold myself accountable for any injury she had incurred while defending myself. Girl, no, no, that's not holding yourself accountable. For every scratch she showed you guys, for any bodily ailment she may have suffered from our physical altercations, but I need you guys to, guys to make not one mistake. I was defending myself. I was not initially aggressing her. I was not creating a situation to, to aggress her. I never initially just hit her or punched her in her face. She always physically aggressed me first. Not with words, physically. And that's when everything will then go downhill. I take accountability for the scratches, but I am not sorry. I'm not sorry for defending myself. Now go put some batteries in that alarm, uh, that fire alarm. So dramatic. Girl, stop it. That has transpired. <clears throat> stop it. And anyone who cannot sit down and see their role in a situation as horrific as this, you cannot trust someone who has no accountability. I could never trust her. And now it's all up to you guys whether or not you want to trust her words about me. I don't trust none of y'all. I want to make it very clear that I am in no way a woman scorned. In no way am I bitter. I've you better, girl. I've gotten on the internet plenty of times now. There's plenty of clips of me saying that I wished her the best. That I wish nothing but good things for her. There's no room in me. Just cause you because you say it doesn't mean you mean it. To wish any type of bad on anybody. I don't treat people that I love because you guys, this is real life here. I was with her for five years. I love Tay. I don't treat people that I love like that. So I know a lot of the comments are saying, move on, do this, do that. Seriously. I'm giving bitter. No, I'm given. I'm ready to stand up for myself and pick up the pieces of my life and move on finally. And there's not one person on this. I mean, that is true. I will say when you're a victim of domestic violence, sometimes it takes years for people to register and to understand what they went through. Sometimes some victims don't even realize they were in a domestic violence relationship until later. And that's including me. I was in two abusive relationships, my first two relationships. After the first one, I didn't even look at it as domestic violence. I just thought that she was drunk, she's angry, she's mad. Her hitting me is just venting. And me just blocking, holding her arms so that she don't hit me more. I never looked at it as domestic violence. Just like a lot of women in our community, we're two women. It can't be domestic violence. And my second relationship went through the same thing. It's the alcohol. She would come home drunk. Or sometimes we're out and we're drinking. She became physically abusive. Blackout. Literally hit me for no reason. Blacked out. And I can tell she's blacking out through her eyes. Again, blocking as much as I could. Holding her as much as I could. And I still didn't realize that I was in a domestic violent relationship. Until later on, when I got into my marriage, my wife, she's used to play fighting with her partners. She tried to play fight with me. And the first thing I would do was like, I'd flinch. And the first time I flinched, I just realized that my response to her 
trying to be aggressive and even if it was playful i just realized i was a victim of domestic violence and it did affect me so i told my wife right away that i don't care that you used to play fight with your exes you're not doing this with me i put my foot down and sure enough she respected my boundaries and we never did that she never physically abused me never mentally never emotionally never spiritually or verbally so sometimes it takes people a while to realize it so that's what she's claiming but the problem with this is she said all this after the breakup. These are all things we've, we've heard already. So this is not you coming to light and having a realization. This is just you being bitter and looking for something. I don't know what you're looking for. Is it views, girl? Because it's been a minute. This, this video here, let's see. This video here got 56,000 views. But the videos before that, 2,000 views, 5,000 views. In my opinion, I think it's for money. That's my opinion of abuse and neglect for all of those years that once you actually have your community and your family back and they've warded you for all of these months, damn, they're going on a year now that you're not going to want to get get what's owed to you. And what's owed to me is for you guys to know who I am and the truth. Yeah, we money don't need to know. To me. I work my money's not owed to me. I work my ass off on that channel. I cooked. I inspired. I did my part. The food did what look good to me. It's for you guys to know that I am not that person that she tried so hard. And honestly, I'll say successfully tried to convince y'all I am. Tay said that, well, she posed a question. Why does my healing, why does my healing have to start with her hurt? Well, I have a question for all of you guys and for Tay, if you're watching this as well. Why did your healing have to start with my defamation and my humiliation? After three Girl, months shut up. no contact, and after the last text message that you sent me was in great spirits. <clears throat> text Hold on. I misspoke once again. It was two months of the date. We last spoke. Girl, I don't care what the dates were. It's old. Text message, three months. It's old news. Defamation. The text messages before those three months were you begging me to do a video. You begging to do things with me. Text message after text message after text message. So much so that I even have to try to put it into perspective for you, which is not new to me. I asked you for some respect of my time, but because I wasn't replying to you right back, you threw a fit like you usually do. Who cares? We talked about this so last time. A year and a half ago, we Your talked about this. Your healing started with my humiliation and my defamation. Why? Why was that appropriate? But what I'm doing to pick up the pieces of this storm that you created, I'm bullying. I'm harassing you per the email that was sent to me. I can't let you guys lose perspective of how all this started and the fact that she brought all of this to the internet. And no matter what I we think. I would never <laughs> burden you guys with such horrific details. This is my burden to bear. Never in my life would I have brought this to the internet we had three months of no contact. And before those three months started, she was cool with me. She wanted to work with me still. But after I started Just Lou and started doing it on my own, I literally posted two videos on Just Lou. You decide to do a digital drive-by on me, <laughs> on my daughter, the on fuck? my family. A digital drive-by in the YouTube it streets. Just me who was affected by this solely because I was making it without you and you cannot control me any longer. And you still can't and you will not silence me. Girl. I'm reclaiming my life. I'm reclaiming my brand. If you support me, thank you. If you need some time to think about it, respect. But to those who understand what I'm saying right now at this current moment, I couldn't be more grateful. I don't and I won't. Yet again, my personality, you guys see, I present myself on the internet very reserved. That's the way I'd like to be received on the internet. And that's my right. All of this is out of my nature. And I hope that you guys give me some- That made no damn that sense. Did you just catch that? She said she wants, she presents herself as reserved. And that's how she wants to be represented, uh, represented on the internet. 
And then she says, that's not in her character. So which one is it? Are, is your character reserved or not? Because I see right through it. This right here that you got going on, sitting like that, looking timid and fragile. Girl, that's a lie. You want to present yourself a certain way on the internet because you're not that way. But you guys have seen that over the five years on the YouTube, so. Oh my God. It's dark again, girl. Your light because went out. Because Taylene's main M ammo in this situation were those videos that she showed you guys. The videos that will come after <laughs> this one will be human accounts that will speak to her character. Oh my God. Speak to my character. This girl. And give you guys an outside voice other than my own. They have taken trips together. They have been in each other's homes. These are family members. These are close acquaintances and best friends. And this is what the next few videos will be. Okay. And I feel like it's only right that I do this. Oh my God. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you guys, uh... it's not fair for anyone to tell me I should just leave it alone now that she's taken down Tay and Lou when what's still left is my character in shambles. Girl. I'm trying to pick these pieces up. You asked her to take it down, so she took it down. And you're still deciding to expose her. This is ridiculous. So that I can restore you guys' faith in who I am. Mm, 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 so mm. I have to bring these human accounts on here because I don't have videos. God. I know I have not been a perfect person, but I try my best to. Sometimes I could do better. As you know, I do not want to be in a relationship. I want to remain single for a couple more years. But it's not my plan, it's yours. All I ask is that the woman that you choose for me as my lifetime partner, just let them be healthy, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I need a healthy relationship, someone who doesn't lie, someone who doesn't abuse, someone who doesn't manipulate, who doesn't cheat, who is loyal and honest. God, please, that's all I ask. And if that's what you provide for me, I will try even harder to be just as good of a partner to her as she is to me. Amen. And that's a real prayer. Okay, when I talk to God, it, it, ain't, it ain't for jokes. I know it's funny from the outside, but I really meant that, okay? Everyone deserves the right to defend themselves after they've been slandered, dragged through the mud. And just as much as the internet is Taylene's job, the internet is mine as well. And my job has been affected. My income has been affected. I do believe that too. I was too. doing very, very good until she came onto the internet and accused me of being an alcoholic abusive person. Never abused her intoxicated because being in the entertainment world when people want to work with you they will google your name they will look to see what you've been up to on this on your social media platforms the internet because that's how they promote that's how they market and the first things that will come up are these videos so i do believe that it did affect both of them not there was no abuse present on my behalf Girl, in that relationship. stop it. On Tay's behalf, there was physical, mental, financial, and animal abuse. Animal and abuse? And the will attest to that. I wanna say thank you to everyone who took the time mm -hmm. to watch this video. Thank you also for the support. I hate that I have to garner. See, I feel bad for the animal that she allegedly abused. These two I don't feel bad for, but the animal, the animal's innocent just like a baby is sympathy and support in this way but thank you thank you for listening to me please subscribe here to my youtube because <laughs> there will be more videos follow me on tiktok look at this bitch on all platforms if you care to do so and once again thank you so much this girl she out here I'm still promoting her chat see what i'm talking about this is her goal this is what she wants this is the purpose of these videos she wants the views that she used to have Taylor, when i was 28 I'm scared to contact you about anything. I need you to understand that. As traumatic as the situation that we went through was, you don't think that in the back of my head, everything you do is to hurt me? Scrolling through 
all this, it's minutes and minutes upon minutes of text messages between her and Tay. I chose not to watch that video or react to it because I don't care what was said to each other. Both of y'all are crazy as fuck, toxic as fuck. You guys probably were victims initially, but became abusers to each other just as equally. That being said, we're gonna skip all those messages and thank y'all for watching. She did post another video called Making a Few Things Clear. I don't know if I will react to it, but comment below and let me know if you want me to. Because if you do, I will. See y'all in the next video. Peace.